Orleans is known as the birthplace of jazz and the home of Mardi Gras. But it's not the music and parades that draw hundreds of women to the cultural hotspot every year. They have breast cancer. Many have lost one or both breasts to the disease and come to the city to have their body reconstructed. On St. Charles Avenue lies the Center for Restorative Breast Surgery, a private hospital known as a center of excellence in breast cancer reconstruction. This hospital is no comparison to most other hospitals that, that there are around. Um, I work in a hospital, a very nice hospital, um, but it's nothing like this. The quiet, the peacefulness that's here, it's just beautiful. It's a place you'd want to actually sit and have a cocktail in with some friends. Just a single patient in a room. It's beautifully done. All the medical equipment is hidden behind pictures. It's pretty nice. There's a robe, big fluffy robe hanging on the door. It almost makes you feel like you're at the big hotel, Four Seasons or something like that. I'm going to have um, a hip flap. It's the S gap, so off of my hips. Um, I'm fortunate that my tummy's not big enough to, I'm having bilateral, so I don't have enough tissue, and they can usually find enough tissue from your hips to do um, a bilateral reconstruction. Performing Karen's breast reconstruction is Dr. Scott Sullivan. He says losing a breast can have a devastating effect on a woman's sense of femininity. Reconstruction can help to restore that. They feel um, that they're not obviously not whole or they're not attractive. And so that it may impact their, certainly their social life. And unfortunately, we find at times, sometimes marriages break down because of that. So if you can help them get through this very difficult time and maintain very good self-image that helps them, helps them out. I mean, after all, many of them will have chemotherapy and lose their hair. Now you have on top of that, they're now disfigured and they lose their breasts. Well, it's, it's a difficult thing to recover from. The Center for Restorative Breast Surgery was founded with the goal of becoming a center of excellence in breast reconstruction. The surgeon saw a need for a different approach to how women with breast cancer were treated in the healthcare system. Many of the patients we were seeing who had had some surgery before may have had some results that weren't very good or at times even grotesque. And we would ask them, well, you know, why did their surgeon stop here? And you know, a, a common answer would be, well, the doctor told me I have more important things to worry about. After all, I'm a cancer survivor and things could be worse. Well, we have a different philosophy of that. You know, we married cosmetic techniques, proven aesthetic quality cosmetic techniques to reconstruction. And before there was a gap. You know, you had your Beverly Hills plastic cosmetic surgeon and they had the nice office and they pampered the patients and it would strive for perfection aesthetically. Well, there, that wasn't that in the breast cancer treatment world. It would walk into an office and it looked like a bus station and it often was unkept. If anyone needed to be pampered and treated well, as this poor woman going through this difficult time. Soon after Karen was told she had breast cancer, she was diagnosed with a second type of cancer that required more urgent treatment. That delayed her plans for a mastectomy with implant reconstruction. But the second cancer diagnosis proved to be a mixed blessing, as it gave her time to realize she didn't want implants after all. We don't do these particular kinds of flaps in the hospital I work at. This is a very specialized procedure, and I just didn't think I could handle a big surgery and a big recovery. I just wanted to get back to work. So in essence, I was settling for the tissue expanders and the implants. And even that, um, they were trying to encourage me to just have the mastectomies, wait, and then have the reconstruction. And I didn't want to wake up with nothing. The gold standard of breast reconstruction is immediate, where a general surgeon performs a mastectomy and plastic surgeon performs the reconstruction in the same operation. Not all women are candidates for immediate reconstruction, but in Canada, many are forced to delay the surgery because of a difficulty coordinating OR time between the two surgeons.
That's where we're going to connect. Aesthetically, like I said before, if you do a delayed reconstruction versus immediate e reconstruction, the immediate reconstructions can look just like the breast they had that they went to sleep with. That means a big deal, uh, and that's a lifelong result. Delayed reconstructions, they, they can look to be a good shape, but the scar patterns are different, so they're revealing. They're, it's easy to see that it's not the natural thing. The scars are, when the women talk about their scars, it's not uncommon that we have patients that come in and say it's been years since they've looked at themselves, that after their mastectomy they couldn't look at themselves at all in the mirror unless they were clothed. It's hard to imagine going through life that way, but they just feel so awful and, and uh, inferior and grotesque and not feminine when they look at themselves when they don't have one or both of their breasts. A common misconception about breast reconstruction is that it is purely cosmetic, like breast augmentation. But for women that have had a mastectomy, the benefits of the procedure go much deeper. Well, I will say that I've never been a very vain person, but at the same time, when you look at yourself unclothed in the mirror every day, and you see a five inch scar uh, folded over, not to be a very pretty sight, uh, it does do something psychologically to you. It also reminds you that cancer was there and it was very prevalent every day. Now, after having the reconstructive surgery, I have a beautiful breast. It feels like my breast. It's not, um, it's not completely gone, and I feel like I'm balanced again, and my body is whole. So the place is pretty big, so you got, what, four, two? Reconstruction is an important part of the healing process for many breast cancer patients. At the center, every aspect was designed with healing in mind. You know, when you go into a hospital and you see all this stuff, well, it's hard enough going into a hospital and then anticipating, I need an IV, I've got to get stuck for that, I'm going to have surgery. All this stuff is uh, actually very anxious when you see all the lines for the oxygen and the suction and that. And so if you can, as we did, hide it behind some artwork, it just makes patients feel a bit better. So it's part of trying to treat the psychology of the recovery. The attention to reducing stress in the hospital helps to get patients back on their feet sooner after surgery. After her reconstruction, Karen spends just a few days in the hospital before she is discharged. I feel good. I mean, it it's almost as if, you know, the cancer takes so much away from you, and it's almost like it didn't take it away from me, because I was able to, you know, have a reconstruction and wake up with, you know, something there. Mm -hmm. So it's been good. And, you know, they're the best at what they do, and the whole thing has just been so easy to do. You just show up, go to surgery. I mean, they just have made it so easy to have everything done. Mm -hmm. A fast recovery means many patients still get to take in the sights and sounds of New Orleans before they head home. For Post Media News, I'm Tundi Fletcher.